What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. We are cycling all around Sri Lanka and in our last episode we cycled from the city of Jaffna to Mulatiu. And today we are attempting to make our way even further east to the city of Trincomalee. now on the Kokilai Lagoon and the interesting thing about this lagoon ride is that we are crossing districts from Mulatiu to Trinko and we are saving a lot of time by taking our bikes with us as well. This lagoon has a lot of biodiversity as well as quite a few islands that you can camp on. Now we don't have time to check it out this time but we will be back for sure. That was the most epic shortcut I have ever taken yeah. in my life. I don't know and why. It but happened so fast. Yeah, like, like we, one minute we were talking to the guy, the next minute we were putting it on this small this fishing entire bike like by himself. To hard to cycle it, and he just lifted it and put it on the bike uh, on the board. On the board, and it's just like a normal fishing board. And I saw that, and I was like, Oh my God, how are we all gonna fit in that? But he did it, and he brought us here, and he was so friendly, and he was saying there's so much of interesting things. So much. There's so many interesting things to do on the lagoon, and we are definitely going to come back to check it out because wow. Yeah, it looks such a cool place. And yeah. It's, a, it's entirely surrounded by yeah. fishing communities. And the community is so, so friendly. friendly. And what's even better is actually one, what, what we, when we were talking to them, what they said was there's a mix of uh, Sinhalese and Tamil people living in the community and Muslims. And they've been here even before the yeah. war, I think. So they're very tight knit and they have no problems and they're like just regular yeah. like community that supports each other and they were so friendly. Yep. Let's go, let's go, I'm hungry. 36 kilometers more to Uga Jungle Beach. We're not gonna stop for breakfast, we're going straight for that luxury resort life right. breakfast brunch. Oh yeah, and one more update. I'm gonna stop updating on this so much because Shayan says I'm talking a lot of crap into the Shanella cam, so I'm gonna tone it down a little bit. But the weather has been so good. It's been a little sunny and warm, but it's also been cool winds and cool breezes. And uh, yeah, like I'm loving it. It's 9 a.m., it's not too hot, I've barely broken a sweat. And what's even better is because we cycled here in the morning, Without electric, I have four full bars of electric, plenty to cover 36 kilometers. Life's good. I'm feeling really good after that boat ride and meeting those people. We're on the back roads now. Battery, electric. May battery Ghana for charge. Charge speed. Speed. 
मीटर स्पीड स्पीड लो मीडियम हाई That was such a cool experience with the kids, guys. Wow. They were so excited to see the bike. So friendly. It was a school. They even invited us in for a cup of tea, but they're in the middle of exams apparently, so we didn't want to intrude. What a crazy experience. Best back road. <laughs> Just before we made it to our hotel, we got stopped over by two very inquisitive locals near Trincomalee. This conversation is an example of how we managed to converse despite not knowing each other's mother tongue. गेदर अम्मा तो आता इन भाई ना इन ना गेदर हाँ इधर क्या इधर क्या आदि आदि हस्बैंड यूट्यूब चैनल चैनल श्रीलंका श्रीलंका ट्रैवल वीडियो बुल्ला सुखी रे या इधरला वीडियो रे या मेक डिस्टेंस ड्रोन कैमरा इगलो ड्रोन कैमरा आ रही है अरे हस्बैंड हाउ मला ड्रोन कैमरा ड्रोन मेन करा दी ओ आदि आदे नाम बोल रहा हूं रिमोट रिमोट साली डेंड चैनल लर है ना हम्म हम्म काशी डेंड काशी दे आरेन के डेंड वाह हो रेस Police station, sir. Ah, uh, ha. Sorry. You look okay. You go first. Ready? Aao, I'm going to go. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Hey. Bye. Bye. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Congratulations, Gus. How's your battery? We have made it guys, we are in the lap of luxury here in almost Trinko at Jungle Beach, Uga. I'm so happy to be here and I'm so excited that we made it here before 12 o'clock so we really avoided that hot sun and we have an amazing lunch. Their set menu is always amazing, their meals, uh, the portion sizes are still huge as usual. So I am going to waste no more time and dig in. Let me show you guys our room. Just ignore our bags. We've got a beautiful large bed in a large room. And we've got a little balcony and the best part. Hello everyone from our activity of the day and yes, we do keep our bikes, one of our most precious belongings at the moment, in our room. We are just chilling, we are resting, we physically cannot push forward without resting any longer. So we have taken the decision to prioritize our physical and mental well-being just for a short break just one night we are staying here at uga and we have prioritized just staying still getting some work done shehan is actually editing so we're not necessarily full-on resting but we are resting we've given all of our clothes most of our clothes to laundry that's why i'm in a robe like this and yeah we're just taking it slow for a little bit Yes, guys, everything we own smells so bad. Well, not everything, our cycling clothes, oh my God, and our shoes and our socks, it's really bad. That's another reason why we had to stop and take a small break because we needed to put all of our cycling clothes to laundry and we needed to dry our shoes because you might remember when we were coming from Kilinochi to Mulatiu, uh, it was raining pretty badly pretty much the whole way and it rained the day before that as well so everything got soaked it wasn't pretty by the time we reached Mulatiu I felt really bad for that lady that lady's guest house room there was a little bit of a musky wet stench by the time we left so I'm very sorry to her but that's the reason why we're here we've got some great sun so I'm going to utilize that to dry our well, it's kind of cloudy actually, so I'm just going to keep everything here to make the most of it. Hopefully it works out. And I actually forgot to give our socks in for laundry, so only Jesus can help them now. But one of the really good things about resting like this is that after a day or two of doing this, we feel super refreshed. And then I actually feel motivated to go on and take a very long stretch. So now we're actually planning to do another 100 km stretch. As much as we'd like to take this slow, we need to try and stay on track because otherwise this is the kind of trip that can go on forever. And that's not a bad thing, but we do have a wedding to plan in December. So we need to get back on track. 
So as you guys might already know at this point in the series that we are not covering every town in depth like we do with a lot of our other videos. So we have covered many of these towns and if you do want to know more in depth on what you can do and the history, definitely check those out. But this is more about exploring it as we go by. What are the things you can do in a day or two? What are the really important things we want to touch on? And we would probably be touching on things that we wouldn't do in our previous kind of vlogs. So the charities are one of the biggest parts of this and I really hope that we can support these amazing initiatives that we've been looking into, whether they are feeding kids with the Community Response Hub or even just supporting community-driven tourism, which there's going to be plenty of coming forward in this series as well. I also hope you guys are also inspired to donate and help out in any way you can. Even if you can't donate, even by sharing the video and getting the word out, that'd be great. Oh, there it is. There's the sun. One of the insights we've had on this trip is that we appreciate luxury hotels and resorts and getaways way more during this series than ever before, especially when you have to do something as gruesome as cycling around the country in this blistering heat to get to them. So we have a newfound love for these experiences. And of course, cycling between the guest houses and these also keep things very interesting for us not just the accommodation experience but also the food experience we've been eating from the cyber kades, the paratas, the rotis, the pitus and then we're switching it up to this amazing West, these amazing western dishes, the amazing jumbo prawns and seafood so that has really been a very exciting experience and it's an experience that makes you appreciate each one even more if you eat like this the whole time you can get kind of boring but if you switch between the siding don't know what you get is it going to be a tea bag tea or is it going to be a properly brewed tea kind of experience it's very exciting Unfortunately, at the end of our rest day, guys, I am a little sad. I mean, I'm very sad actually, but I'm also excited to get on with our journey. But it has been a really, really great time here, resting and relaxing with Uga Jungle Beach. They are a phenomenal property to come to when you need some R and R for sure. I am going to be enjoying this fabulous dinner that they have organized for us by the beach with Shehan and then we're gonna sit by the fire until it goes out. And then we're gonna to go to sleep and we will start our adventure again tomorrow. How do you know you've arrived in the city of Trincomalee? Easy you spot a bunch of deer all over this city. Much like the city of Mana that has a population of donkeys, Trincomalee uniquely is the only city that I have seen that has a huge population of deer that are almost domesticated. They're not wild enough to be scared of population. In fact, they are very much a part of the community here. However, there is a big problem here. Much like the donkeys in Mana, the population of deer here are also facing a problem there is a lot of garbage that is not disposed correctly, a lot of plastic and the deer end up eating it and they're actually eating human food like rice much like the donkeys in Mana as well and this actually causes a lot of digestive problems for them and causing premature death. So unfortunately as much as it is a grand spectacle to see deer up close where they're not so frightened of you like they are in the wild, it is a bit of a sad situation that I hope we can attend to and fix in the future. 
That's it for this vlog you guys. We made one more pit stop at our friend's hotel in Trincomalee for the night before we head towards Batiklo tomorrow. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you subscribe to our channel and join us for the rest of this series as we cycle around the island of Sri Lanka.